Welcome to the next video of the Inspire Real Estate Corner. Today we talk about something that a lot of our customers and certainly the younger uh, people uh, want to talk about. And it's how do you start to become financially independent? How can you do that? It's a dream of everyone, I think, to build up some savings for the future and, and make smart investments. Now, I'm gonna talk about how you can save uh, four years of net salary, four years of net salary, how you could save that money and use it better in the future. We can use an example. Um, four years means from today to 2025, right? Working, imagine that amount of time you work, the income you have, and you can uh, use it better, you can, you can save it. So, um, when we make big, big financial decisions, when we, when we think about, in this case, buying a property or not buying a property, you need to think beyond today and beyond tomorrow. We need to look at the long term. So when we do numbers, let's look at a let's look at ten years, a ten year horizon hmm, for the for the calculations. And because decisions you take to buy or not to buy, or to rent or not to rent, have long term long term implications. We can have them at least. So here's a few examples. Um, imagine you're renting a property in Spain and you pay a thousand euro per month for your property a rental contract. That's money for your landlord. That means 12,000 euros per year that you need to earn and pay to your landlord. In exchange, you get a property for those 12 months. You get nothing as of month 13, right? And the money is gone. It's gone from your account. Look at 10 years, that's 120,000 euros. That's a big number. It's a very large amount. Now, that's the cost of, of renting, but look, how do you pay for that? Imagine you have a salary of 2,500 euros net per month. Uh, that means 30,000 net per year. It means that you've got to work four years full-time at this salary to pay 10 years of rent. So if your decision is to rent a property, that are the implications. From now to 2025, you're gonna be working only to pay your landlord, to make your landlord wealthier. Mm -hmm. You don't get anything in a change. You've got no property, nothing for the future, and the money is gone. You also didn't leverage the money. You have you have not created uh, more uh, wealth from from your from your working income. You can say no, but I make more than twenty five hundred. That's fine. Even with five thousand net per month of income, you're still going to be working two full years to pay ten years of rent, uh, and that's a massive number. So, when we have these discussions with our customers that are typically renting at this point in time, these are often moments of re uh, revelation when they think wow we, we never thought about it this way um but other people say well yeah i've been renting for uh at a thousand per month uh, during five years uh six thousand euro uh, of, of rental that, that, that's gone so be aware of the consequences what it means if you decide not to buy alternatively with those savings that you have here um you have probably sufficient for a down payment for a mortgage. And it opens doors for starting to create financial independence. You can live in the property, you stop paying rent, you have something for the future, or maybe you buy a property that you might in the future rent out, and it even pays back itself. So if you're in this situation, I would like to encourage you. Uh, I've written an article with a lot more numbers in, a lot more examples on our blog. Check it out, and if you want to discuss your situation with us, uh, complimentary, totally free first conversation, a Zoom meeting, uh, 20, 30 minutes with you to understand your plans and I give you my recommendations. See you.